who seek the mysterious, the masked woman. My name is Sonika Dibanacha, but everybody for short simply calls me Mystique. I'm from Joburg, South Africa. I'm a prolific singer-songwriter and an entrepreneur with a dream. I'm an enthusiastic, people-loving, nature-caring person who enjoys life. My journey was a tough one. I've learned so much. The important thing is to never give up. Even when you feel like there's no hope, do not give up. Keep trying. Even a bird falls down when trying to fly, but gets right back up and try again. One very important lesson that I've learned from my journey is that no matter how bad your situation might be, always remember that with you in the silence of pain and suffering, there is always another one even in worse pain than you. There are so many souls out there that need saving. Rock Bottom is where Mystique was born. After suffering tremendous abuse, loss, pain, hunger, cold and darkness, it was only when I had nowhere to go and the streets had to be my home that I realized just how blessed I still was. At least I had a partner who stood by me through this very rough time. Others had to deal with their struggle alone. So many lost and broken souls out there, being judged for what they are and where they are. But no one knows the story of pain and struggle or for survival and some souls journey that leads up to giving up. Being judged for the cover, yet the beautiful sad and survival story on the inside is missed. Beyond every person, how bad that ever may be or appear has a story of why, how and when. And every person's journey is unique. Nobody can travel the same journey and survive the same struggles. Each soul has been given unique journeys, different lessons and tasks to be completed. No choice you make is ever a wrong one. Each choice just has different experiences and life challenges. Some choices just makes our journey a bit longer, but it's all lessons we need to learn in order to become the person we are meant to be. So sometimes we make mistakes. It's okay. It's lesson. In life, there's no better teacher than one's own mistakes. It's when we learn from them that we grow. Some souls just need a little push and encouragement through their trying days and some souls get denied so many times that they give up sooner than others because of being labelled and this leads to their destruction and total surrender to fall. For some, there is just nothing left to live for. Yes, I lived in an informal settlement, a squatter camp, but I was no longer on the streets. I had a hope again and here I remembered who I was and what I loved. Music! Suddenly, my poetry became rap and words and beats just flew from my fingers and my mouth. I learned even more about life, so much talent out there, no jobs, no chance given to those living poorly, being judged and not giving opportunity to prove what they have in them. I've learned that the best way to achieve a success was to motivate the resources that I had with well-defined objectives and empowerment. Talent creates opportunities to be bigger than what you have ever been. I believe in developing habits of the mind that are important for survival and having a love and passion for music is an amazing tool for teaching, expressing and advocating change for growth. As musicians, we bring entertainment, healing, love and passion to a world that desperately needs it. Knowledge creates wisdom, wisdom creates power, and power creates strength. Strength to get you where you belong, to get you to remember who you are, so you can be higher than you have ever been, so you can become who you are meant to be. On our journey, everything we go through and every person we meet has a purpose. We meet the right people at the right time. We need that person to be there for whatever reason we need him for. Some people stay and some are merely there for a certain time and you never meet them again. Those who stay are the ones who walk with you. Others are lessons and some are like quiet angels, there for the moment to help carry you through. The road you travel on is your road and yours alone. Others may walk it with you, but no one can walk it for you. Your best teacher is your mistakes. I've learned that I cannot always count on others to respect my feelings, even if I respect theirs. Being a good person doesn't guarantee that others will be good people too. You only have control over yourself and how you choose to be as a person. And for others, you can only choose to accept them or walk away. Sometimes you just have to erase the messages, delete the number and move on. You don't have to forget who that person was to you. You just have to accept that they aren't that person anymore. Sometimes it's not the people who change, but their masks that's hidden. There's a difference in who we long for, who we settle for, and who we are meant for. Be with those who brings out the best in you, not those who put stress and doubt or abuse you. Forgive those who has wronged you or hurt you, even though it's hard to do. Facing what has made you fall will let you rise even higher above all. When you forgive, you don't change the past, but you change the future. Everyone has gone through something that has changed them in a way that could never let them go back to the person that they once were. People will come into your life and hurt you and say bad things about you. But you must remember that people who has a problem with you is usually mad at themselves, takes it out on others. Don't let that bother you. Do not take it personally. It says nothing about you but a lot about them. Don't ever be afraid to speak your mind. The only people that's mad at you for speaking the truth is the people living a lie. So keep on speaking. The most dangerous liars are those who believe that they are telling the truth. So instead of listening, turn away and walk away. 
You are responsible for your actions only, not for how other people perceive it. So how you handle the situation is up to you. Only you can make what someone else says have an effect on you. You are responsible for what you allow make you feel bad about you. So instead of believing the ugly things that people say about you, smile and say, I'm beautiful, I'm awesome, I'm one of a kind, I'm the only version of me. Walk away and pretend as if you never heard those ugly words. What you tell your mind is how your body reacts. We always complain about being poor, not realizing that the people we label as rich are actual, in fact, the poor ones. If you have a family that loves you, if you have a few good friends or even one, you are rich. If you have food on your table, a roof over your head, you are richer than you think. If you are healthy, you are richer than some. And if you are happy, you are rich. Never take anything for granted. Sometimes the small things is the big things. When you take things for granted, the things that you are granted gets taken. Yes, money makes life easier, but it doesn't make you rich. Spoil your kids with love and attention, not expensive gifts. The love you give them is a bond that lives in the heart forever. It's not about what you did for your children that matters most, but what you have taught them to do for themselves that makes them successful human beings. It's what you teach them that will be remembered, not the amount of money you spend on them. Life is a challenge. We don't need to spend our lives chasing people who do not want to stay. If they want to leave, let them go. I've learned that nothing lasts forever, masks fall off, then it's time to take new direction. I've learned that love isn't easy and life isn't always what you want it to be. So you've got to make the best of it. Why the mask? People ask. Think about the mask for a second. What does it represent to you? In this day and age, the entire human population is a mask. We all have to face it. We all have to side. A dark side and a good side. In most cases, we wear a mask to cover up the dark side. People who are angry, sad or in pain wear the mask to hide behind the smile. Abusers wear the mask to hide the monstrous side with that of a kind and loving one. Behind the mask you can be pretty much anybody you want to be, do anything you want to do and nobody will know it's you. Sometimes when people suddenly change it's not an actual change but just a different mask to apply. I'm a mask lover and wearer because I rose up from the dead and after finding myself again and knew who I was, I fit the mask and became a steep. Not to hide who I was in person but to show the world that it's okay to have two sides and still be loved. It is only when your dark side is accepted and loved that you can truly be loved for who you are. So when we start to feel unloved and unwanted or unaccepted in our society, we must always remember we don't have to hide. We are all beautiful human beings because we allow ourselves to feel. And that is a very brave thing to do indeed. Always be you. Believe in you. Love and life. Until next time.